Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. What I'm going to be doing in this video is walking you through some basic power school setup for uh, the Schoology Sync. Uh, and the reason for that is just so that you can look at some of the settings that we have configured for each year so that you can troubleshoot and make changes if you need to. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you are designated as a technical support contact and that will give you access to the PowerSchool app. You must have that designation in order to access PowerSchool Sync. If you do not have that designation, uh, you can call Schoology support to get it. And you must also be a SIS administrator. And what that means is that you can administer the uh, connection between PowerSchool and Schoology. So what I'm gonna do now is actually show you what that looks like. Once it's configured, you're gonna go ahead and click on the PowerSchool app from your own home screen. When PowerSchool loads up in the sync settings, you're gonna have a number of options that you're gonna to wanna to configure when you start up. Okay, so the, the first couple of options are what you're gonna sync from PowerSchool to Schoology, how often you're gonna do that, how you're gonna time that, um, things of that nature. So the first thing you're gonna configure is your API credentials. That's for your SSL configuration, um, we already have ours set up and configured, uh, so don't, don't make changes to that if you don't have to. Then what we have selected is that we do a scheduled hourly sync of all information uh, that student enrollments and courses from PowerSchool into Schoology directly, and then we live sync grades from Schoology into PowerSchool. Now, we have to set an individual category for all of those grades to go into when they enter PowerSchool. And our default categories are just these. So we have decided to save that into the homework folder. What we also will do is set the active year for syncing. So once we roll over to next year, we'll set 2015-16 to be the active year and go ahead and sync. Okay, so once all of these items have been configured, you're going to move across the Pearson settings at the top here. So you're going to designate your schools as the next thing that you're going to look at and what those students and enrollments in those schools will go into in your corresponding Schoology setup. So these are our Power School schools, these are our Schoology schools, um, and we can set that information and save it as we move forward. Then you want to make sure that you sync the terms. And so that will be the start and end dates of all of the terms that you have in each school. So you can see our middle school, for example, has quarters and semesters, and we sync all of those up to include what will be in each grading period. All right, so that's the basic configuration, basic school setup, and basic term setup. Now there's this issue called data prep, which is something that we went through where it will sync users and allow us to update and manage users in the first setup. You won't be using that at all now that Schoology has been configured for the first time. Uh, so you can go ahead and jump straight to users, courses, and sections. So these are the things that are gonna update every hour. So the first thing is your users. Um, so I can go in and I can sync all of these users. So uh, using custom settings here, I can sync mapping preferences to be a little different for each student or teacher if I would like. Um, I can sync users from each school. Uh, and when I do that, it will ask me if I want to sync specific students into which Schoology role I would like them to go into. Now, based on the way we have Schoology set up, the students in each division have different access to screens. So you want to make sure that the elementary students, for example, go into the elementary student group within Schoology. Um, and we'll show you what those rules look like in another video. And then you're going to want to look at your courses and make sure that your courses are set up to configure correctly. Um, and so again, you're going to be selecting your schools to make that sync. Then the last thing you're going to do is once you have those courses is you're going to sync all sections of those courses uh, in each school and you're going to make sure that that goes through. If you want to manually sync an account, uh, you just select a school and hit sync. 
Then if you're noticing any errors where courses are not populating correctly, you can pull up the PowerSchool logs, uh, which will allow you to see what happened within each school and each log. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or leave a comment on this video. Thanks.